Alfonso Davies is sidelined with heart muscle inflammation after contracting COVID-19. So we're talking with John Molinero to see what this means for Team Canada in their upcoming World Cup qualifying matches. All right, John, Davies is out for three games, two games against teams outside the top three. Can Canada still get those wins? It'll be tough. He's is a hugely important player for, for Canada with you know five goals in this qualifying round. That said, I mean, I, I think can, Canadian fans should be comforted by the fact that the national team does have, you know, a lot of attacking depth and players who can step in, whether it's, you know, Tejan Buchanan, who, you know, recently moved from MLS to a team in Belgium or uh, someone like Alistair Johnston or, you know, John Finisario, the, you know, the list is endless. There's really a, a quality and depth in this Canadian national team that hasn't been there historically. So, you know, again, while losing Alfonso Davies potentially is a big blow, I do think that there are, uh, you know, more than enough uh, players who can kind of step up in his absence. The U.S.-Canada match is coming up. Let's talk about that one in particular. How do you think Canada will fare without Davies? Canada only has a, uh, has a one point lead over the U.S. in the standing. So the game on January 30th is um, in Hamilton is could be a real uh, could really be pivotal for both teams in terms of their World Cup qualifying hopes. You know, in terms of what Alfonso Davies, you know, with his absence, you know, if he doesn't play in that game, it, it's I don't necessarily think it changes much for Canada because I think under John Herdman, the Canadian national team has been very aggressive and very uh you know, willing to be uh, to, to take it to their opponents and really force them onto the back foot. I mean, we saw that in that game, uh, both games actually against Mexico, both at Estadio at Azteca and in at Edmonton, um, where they really went after Mexico right from the opening kickoff. They didn't sort of sit back. And I think that's just sort of the mentality that Canada has right now, regardless who who's in the lineup, is that, you know, they're they are equal to the task and they can go toe to toe with any team in CONCACAF. So I don't think things will drastically change. If Davies can't play, I think, you know, they're going to be just as aggressive and really go at the U.S. right from the opening kickoff. I think if we were having this conversation two or three years ago, you know, the conversation would be much different because I think there would be much more concern about losing a player the caliber of, of Alfonso Davies. Um, but I think since in the, in the, you know, since that time, you know, the team's depth and overall quality has really grown because you've seen more and more players playing at top clubs across Europe, whether it's Jonathan David moving from Belgium to Lille. And you've seen players like Tejan Buchanan uh, move from MLS to uh, to European clubs. And, you know, you've seen uh, MLS players, whether it's Jonathan Osorio or Alistair Johnston or Mark Anthony Kay, really sort of establish themselves as amongst the best players at their positions in the league. So uh, Canada's depth over the last two or three years has really grown where, um, again, I think they're in a much position where they are right now compared to three years ago. 